this is for uh, the angle of reflection. If you see the torch light hitting the mirror and making equal and opposite angle. Over here, you can right? See, yeah, you can see both the angles are equal. Mm -hmm. This is for the angle of reflection, okay. which is both equal. Later, we'll do a, a refraction and other that will be done in prism. Mm -hmm. But here you can see how the angle, suppose till mirror, it is 30 degree. So mm -hmm. inside mirror also, it is 30 mm -hmm. degree. Mm -hmm. Yes. Both are equal. Mm -hmm. So if you can uh, see how mm -hmm. uh, angle of refle reflection are made. Right. Actually, I, it took me two hours to, you know, make, to, you know, assemble everything. So. This is the periscope that we spoke in the last class, right, sir? Well, this is a pinhole camera. Okay. Here, like, you can see the uh -huh. opposite image. If you look through the lens, uh -huh. you will see you see the cat there. Uh -huh. so you can see the inverted image of the cat. I am not able to figure it it's out. It's a basically a model for a camera. Our camera works like that, like this. Okay. Any camera, the camera with which we take photographs, it works like this. It's Not a model. To understand, so. Yeah. If now look at here, now how you will say that this represent X? That is because if you place it two X like this, yeah. Okay, like this, then you will get the like exact like shape of the square, right? So X multiplied by X, so it's X square. So that's why it is called the X square. X into X. Yes. Okay. Okay. Two. I need. I still need to see the questions. So first up, take a better. Two X plus three. Okay. Is that like? Look at here. The two X plus three is equal to eight. Yeah. So two X plus three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, this is base 10 blocks. This helps us in understanding decimals. So, this comp comprises of 1000 cubes, this of 100 cubes, this is 10 cubes, this is 1 cube. Okay. okay. So, like this is, this represents 1. Mm -hmm. This represents one tenth, mm -hmm. this represents one hundred, mm -hmm. and this represents one thousand. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to write a decimal number, suppose you want to write 1.234. Mm -hmm. So, how will we write? Like this is a one, this is one whole number, so we'll keep it here. Mm -hmm. Now, for 1.2, mm -hmm. for 2, we will represent two hundredths, mm -hmm. then Two tenths and then three. So one point two three four. Mm -hmm. so this is one. This is one tenth. Mm -hmm. This this is one tenth. One hundred and one thousand. Okay. Uh, this is a device to see the impact of magnet okay. on iron coin. Okay. So if you blow the mm -hmm. fan on the top, mm -hmm. you can see. The coin below it dancing. Okay, 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 sir. This is a rain gauge. You can see that in last 24 hours, uh, like if you see the marking, there are five centimeter of rainfall. So five centimeter is pretty heavy rainfall. It's a rainy season. Normally, five centimeter doesn't occur, but then it's a rainy season, so. It's a 5 centimeter rainfall in last 24 hours. Now, what's the question? In a shower, 5 centimeter of rain falls. Find the volume of water that falls on 2 hectares of ground. Okay. Okay. These are uh, concrete shapes. You can say 3D shapes. All kinds of polygons are there. Different kind of 3D shapes are there. It helps you to uh, imagine better. You can imagine you can actually see like you know this is a cuboid, you can actually see the corners, the vertices, the sides. You can understand the properties of 3D sets better. And even it helps in uh, like you know calculating their volume. Like you know, uh, suppose here in sphere there are no vertices, there are no corners. You can see. So if you want to take out the uh, uh, 
volume of the sphere, how will you go about it? So it helps you in understanding the mensuration concepts.